Alfred Stefferin wrote an article in the USDA Journal of Agriculture, and in it he recommended that city and urban planners only plant trees of the male variety. Because he said trees of the female variety littered cumbersome seeds and fruit that made the streets unbecoming. So of course, in America in 1949, they were like, Ew! We don't want these bitch trees to get their periods on the sidewalk! Gross! Well, trees were planted where the number of people with seasonal allergies at the time was 15 million. That number today is upwards of 230 million, and no one has them worse than me. I am allergic to pollen, dust, gluten, dairy, all animals with fur, feathers, grass, stone, fruit, medical contrast, amoxicillin, red dye number 40, and according to my ex, the touch of a man. Now, <laughs> oh, the trees filter toxic chemicals in the air through pores in their leaves and re-release cleaner air. Well, what I've gathered everyone tonight to discuss <laughs> is where the chemicals that the trees absorb end up. Well, if we had planted girl trees who don't produce pollen at all, Yeah! The chemicals would have been transferred to the seeds that fall off the trees and roll down into the gutter, but since we had to plant these fuck-ass boy trees, guess where the chemicals that the trees absorb end up? In the pond. <laughs> <laughs> 